and then I'm going to go into the data up top, and then we'll go into the data tools and the text two columns, and then once again, delimited by the commas, next, and I want it comma delimited, looks good, it looks like it's doing what we want down here, next, and okay, general, okay, finish it. Let's make the top bit bold so that we can then hopefully Excel will know that that's the header, home tab, font group, bolden. And then I'm going to put my cursor somewhere in the data and go to the insert tab. And I'm going to be picking up the table and the table here. So let's insert the table and boom. So now we've got our two data sets for uh, 1920 and 2000. I'm going to insert another one more row above it, insert, so I can say this was 2022 data. And let's do that up here too, just so I can make sure I know which data is which, which is which, insert, and I'll say this was 1920. Those are the two years we did. Am I right? Am I right? Okay, I think so. Okay. So there's our data. So now what I'd like to do is just get the batting averages uh, over. So I want to pick up the batting. So I'm, I'd like to get the player's name as well, possibly. So uh, do I need their age or any of this other stuff? Uh, no, let's just get the batting average. So I'm going to I'm going to put my cursor from C and I'm going to scroll over. Now, you possibly might do this with pivot tables as well, but I'm just going to do the good old normal table. I'm going to right click and hide. So now we've got our batting averages. Now, when we sort the batting averages, I'm going to make column B a little bit wider so we could see the players names. Uh, notice that we might have like some outliers with the batting averages. So if I if I drop it down and go from Z to A, all these zeros in the batting average, when you're looking at the actual data sets, then uh, you know that that might not be applicable, right? You might you might not want the zeros in the batting averages because it might that might be indicating that these people didn't have any at bats or anything like that, right? So maybe we trim off the zeros, and on the high side as well, you could say, well, one uh, or a hundred percent possibly that's because they had a very low at bats they might not have that many at bats so this, these are kind of skewing our data uh you know if they had like if they had one at bat and they got hit so oftentimes we might say maybe it would be better for me to trim off the extreme numbers and so i can filter by hitting the drop down and say maybe i should trim off all of the zeros maybe i'll keep everything else and maybe i trim off like the 100s and anything that's a blank that doesn't have anything in it then I want to remove those as well. So, so I'll trim down my data to that, thinking that maybe that's a more a better representation, you know, of the people in in the data set. So now, notice what happened is it hid some rows because I filtered. I filtered those out, so it goes from two to six. That's why I don't want to have anything to the right of my data set. Because if I have this filtered, it's gonna it's gonna squish up all of all of the stuff I do to the right because it removed these rows. That's why I'd rather copy this information now that it's filtered and paste what I want to deal with in another tab. So I'm gonna open up another tab. I'm gonna double click on it. I'm gonna call it blank uh, two, or let's call this one blank data. This is the blank data. It's not blank data, but. It's the data for our, our blank worksheet. And then I'm going to copy this. I'll select these two and then I'll say control shift down. So it goes down to the bottom. I'm going to right click and copy it and then go to my blank worksheet, paste it. I'm going to hold control shift and scroll in a little bit. In A1, I'm going to place it just one, two, three. All right, so there we have it. And then the top bit, I'm just going to put emboldened home tab. Uh, uh, font and emboldened. And then I'll put a table around this one. After it notice, I, I've removed those top bits. Like if I go to the last one, you, you might think, you might think, hey, maybe it still pulled in those ones, but it didn't because like if I copy this, control C, 
and you look at the dancing ants and I unfilter and I say uh, remove the filters or select all actually already that's not where the filter was remove the filters you can see the dancing ants are not around these ones because we filtered them out so the filtered ones are not included here so now I'm going to insert a table insert table and then I'm going to say okay and then batting average this is for 1920 uh, let's say so there we have it names a little bit larger let's do the same thing for the 2022 control shift down and so now I want to pick up the 2022 there's my batting averages I'll do the same thing I don't want these blank numbers and I don't want the zeros and I don't want the hundreds because those are probably skewed stats possibly because of the number of at bats or whatever right so here's like this one even has a 0.04 that's you know pretty low you know maybe we remove the 0.04 and the 0.05 and, and I'll keep the ones after that and then I'll go down to the bottom and this one goes up to 0.75 let's get rid of the blanks 0.75 is pretty out there it's probably probably uh probably one person that didn't have that many at bats but i'll keep it and we'll say okay so then i'm going to copy these two control shift down and then uh control c copy i'm going to put this on the blank tab and we'll put it up here in d1 right click and paste it just one two three selecting the top bit home tab font group data or bold and then i'm going to put my cursor somewhere in the table and go into the insert tables and put a table around it the dancing ants doing their table dance 